And like Lynn Littman, uh, I was a student in Paris in 1960, uh, although I don't remember the skinny dipping part. That was. Uh, <laughs> uh, but I do remember vividly uh, my impression of seeing Breathless um, and the impact that it made. And uh, I mean, all over Paris, that's all people were talking about was a bout de souffle. Um, I also remember the impact that the music made. Uh, Marshall Salal's wonderful jazz score. And uh, one striking thing for me about Godard's films, musically, is that they brought a whole new vision of how music could be used in films. Uh, Paul Misraki's score for Alphaville, which was a very stunning jazz-oriented score, very intense, but it can turn on a dime, on a heartbeat, and suddenly become the most tender of expressions. Um, Georges Delarue's very beautiful, haunting uh, string orchestra score. It was very unique at the time for uh, contempt. Um, no one had ever used music the way he had in film. For me, I found that some of his, his music um, played a character on the screen. There was more than just scoring, there was more than underscoring. Uh, I felt that some of the some of the scores in music was actually like literally a character that would offer commentary. And that was one of the striking things for me. Um, his films opened our eyes and ears to what the possibilities were. And I think we're all better for it who make films. Thank you.